Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Coach Tasha, your go-to expert for all things tax, business consulting, and financial strategies. Now today I'm gonna to be talking about one of the most powerful tools for growing your business, which is social media marketing, okay? I'll be sharing with you some practical tips on how you can use social media effectively to boost your business's presence online, attract more customers, and drive sales. Now, did you know that there's 3.6 billion people who use social media worldwide, which is huge, right? Honestly, um, you know, you have people out there that are really waiting to discover your business. You just really have to put yourself out there, okay? Now, and I, I really know that a lot of you don't do that, you know what I mean? Um, and that's really a huge thing that's stopping your growth because you're not putting yourself out there. You know, you're not putting yourself where your customers are hanging out at, okay? Nowadays, we all have our phones in our hand often. We're either scrolling Instagram, connecting on LinkedIn, browsing TikTok, you know, you name it. So that's where your customers are and you want to be engaging with them, okay? So you can drive them sales, all right? Honestly, if you're using social media, using more of it anyway can even have the potential to increase your revenue by like 25 percent you'd be surprised even more to be honest okay also you want to choose the right platforms because not all platforms are created equal so it's important to choose the ones that work for your business okay you know we definitely have facebook so you make sure that your business has a facebook business page and that you're posting you know you can use that opportunity to also run ads on your facebook Facebook owns Instagram, you know, you can be posting reels, regular posts, carousel posts, um, also LinkedIn. LinkedIn is, you know, more professional networking and also B2B, business to business. Then we have TikTok, which is amazing for short form content. I want to say like there's so many people on TikTok now, not even just Gen Z, but especially if you're looking to attract more Gen Z customers, there are definitely a lot of them on TikTok. And you really don't need to be everywhere. You just need to be where matters most. Okay, now let's talk about, you know, planning, right? Because you don't just want to be posting aimlessly. You want to have some goals. Like, what are your goals when you're posting? Are you trying to achieve more followers or maybe trying to increase more people to visit your website, join your newsletter and things like that? Okay, increase your sales with to, you know, whatever it is that you sell. You also want to make sure you're taking time to understand your customers. What are their pain points? What are the kind of, um, you know, what are the kind of solutions are they looking for to their problems? Okay. How do they like to consume the content? Do they want to read? Do they want to listen? Uh, do they want to watch you on video? So, you know, which can be fun sometimes, honestly, you know, I actually like creating my own content. It's actually fun, but Listen, if you don't find it fun, that's okay. You can outsource stuff like that to freelancers, all right? Also, you want to make sure you're choosing quality over quantity because it's much better to be posting less frequently but with high-quality content, all right, so that your audience will appreciate the valuable content that you're posting, all right? Also, make sure you're consistent. Con consistency is key. And even if it's honestly once a day or a couple of times a week, stick to some kind of schedule because social is all about being social. So don't be afraid to show your personality and have a little fun with it, okay? Also, you want to make sure that you're engaging with your audience, right? Because this is a two-way street. You want to ask them to comment and post and share and things like that. You also want to be responding to their comments. Take time out to respond to their comments and their messages in, in your DM and things like that. Because it really shows your audience that you care, okay? You can also, as I said a few minutes ago, hire a social media manager like on Fiverr or Upwork to you know manage your social media also don't oversleep over look user generated content when people you know are using your brand your products or your services make sure you're there posting about ask them to post about it you know and tag you in it okay also use social media to build your relationships you know increase your followers create conversations 
you know, the more that you're doing with your audience, the better it will be, okay? So you can improve. Also, one thing I want to tell you, you cannot improve what you're not measuring. So make sure you're tracking your analytics. You want to go into your analytics on your platforms and check engagement rates, like how many people are interacting with your content, how many people, you know, is your content reaching, how many are converting to clients and customers, okay? You can also use like Google Analytics um, to help you along with certain things. And like I mentioned, the platforms, each platform has its own analytics. And definitely you want to be tweaking your strategy accordingly, all right? Now, honestly, um, I did want to also mention a couple of mistakes. One of them is inconsistency. You don't just want to be per, um, posting sporadically. Stick to your content calendar. Also, as I mentioned, you know, check out your analytics and don't ignore your analytics. Also, don't over promote because social media isn't really just about selling. You want to find a balance between promotional content as well as engaging and informative posts. OK, now also I wanted to mention that I actually take calls, you know, if you want to, you know, help with basically coming up with a more personalized strategy for your brand and your business, definitely make sure you book me. You will find my information in the description box. And also I will pin a comment for my calendar link. All right. Now I hope you found this video helpful. Make sure you like and subscribe and share this video with your business bestie. Okay. And I do thank you for watching and I will see you at the corner of success. Take care.